Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This video is part of a set of videos which I am planning to do for Mongo database. This video will include installation, setup and starting of database. To download the Mongo database binaries, just log in to mongodb.com. You can see there are options for enterprise server and community server. Enterprise server is the licensed product of Mongo database where we'll have some additional features. For example, in security, we have LDAP, Kerbos, etc. For now, we'll be using community server, which is a free software and we can download and use it any of your servers. Just click on the community server. So you will get an option to select the version of your database which you want. So the latest is 4.2.6 and select the OS. Here I am selecting RHEL 7 because I have an RHEL 7 VM which I have installed in my VMware. If you want to know how to install a VM and enable SSH login, just check out my previous video. The link for the same is there in my description. Just select TGZ as package which will include a tar file of all the components and now click on download. So after downloading the TGZ file from the Mongo website, I've copied it to my local VM using WinSCP. I've copied it to the path CD OPT Mongo. So as you can see, this is the file. Now the next step is to unzip and extract this file. So this will extract the TGZ file. This particular installation is a tarball installation. You can also do an RPM installation for Linux instances. So you can see this folder has been extracted. So you can see there is a bin folder. So this bin folder contains the binaries for the Mongo. So as a next step, we will be copying the content of this bin folder to user local bin. So by copying this, we will be making the binaries available to all the users. You have to do this using the root user or using the sudo access. You can also do a soft link using ln-s command. So once the copy is completed, you can go to any path, say cd slash and run mongod hyphen version command so this will show the version of mongod installed so you can see it is 4.2.6 so this completes the installation of mongod now let's look at how we set up and start our mongod instance so to start our mongod instance we can use mongod hyphen a db path this will be the path where the data of your database instance resides so say I am going to create a database at this path. I am giving minus minus log path to mention the log file path. So say it will be in the same as my db path and the name will be mongod.log. Next we can also provide a port. So default port for mongod instances are 27017. I can change it. So I am giving 27018. So I am also giving minus minus fork. So it will start my MongoD instance in background. So you can see the child process has started successfully. So I can check if the MongoD has started by trying to access the MongoD instance using mongo command. So I have provided a different port 27018. So I have to provide the port else I could have just started with mongo. So you can see that we have logged into the shell. So if I run a command show dbs, it will list the databases currently present in this instance. So you can see these are the default databases which are created with the starting up of our instance. You can also create your own database. Now to create your own database, say a test database, switch to the database using use command and insert a document in my table, say my table. I 
I'm adding a field A with value 1 and I'm adding a field B with value 10. So you see it has been inserted and now if you run show DBs you can see your test database is there. And shut down the MongoD instance. So switch to admin database and use db. Shut down server. If you move to the database path directory, so in our case we had started in home Vemara, you can see the database files created in that path. So by default, Mongo has a white tiger storage engine. So you can see we have file for collections and indexes. We have a folder for keeping the journals. We have the log file which we have created. We have a log file for the database also for the storage engine along with other configuration files. Instead of starting the MongoD instance in command line, you can also start the MongoD instance using a configuration file. So here, for example, I'm using mongod.conf file. I'm providing the log path, the db path. I've enabled the journal. I've given fork true and also provided the port. Just like we had given the parameters in a command line format, we are providing it in a YAML format. Now to start using this configuration file, we can simply use mongod minus minus config and the configuration file. You see it states fork processed and child process started successfully. If I try to access using mongo hyphen port 27018, I am able to enter the shell. So this involves the installation, setup and starting of the mongo instances. In next set of videos, I will try to cover the other aspects of mongo database. Thank you for watching my video.